people a very good day guys welcome to my channel this is where we discuss everything and anything that is trending or interesting my name is isaac pinello well last week we saw orange botswana becoming the first orange affiliate to launch 5g technology covering 30 percent of the population including greater Kaboroni and francistown it was said that other cities will follow suit in early next year According to Orange executives, this 5G launch will support innovation and digital inclusion in the country, putting Botswana at the forefront of 5G in Africa. But as good as this may sound, I'm yet to be convinced about the possibility of 5G connectivity in Botswana. What bothers me is that Botswana lacks infrastructure. First of all, 5G rollout would require a high density of base stations, which requires a significant investment in infrastructure because of 5G's short wavelength. Look at this. Wavelength of 5G is between 1 and 10 millimeters. Its speed tops out at 10 gigabits per second. 5G compatible phones can download at a speed of around 87.5 megabits per second. This means you can download a 10 GB game in 1.9 seconds. Africa and the Middle East have the least 5G connectivity capability due to infrastructural limitations. Another limiting factor that makes 5G less lucrative in Botswana is the fact that 5G compatible phones are extremely expensive. China has the largest 5G connectivity in the world. 341 of its cities have 5G. This is 49.6% of its total cities. Only 3% of the world population has 5G. That is just about 240 million people out of about 8 billion people on Earth. 5G doesn't travel very far and can easily be blocked by physical objects from buildings to trees, limiting its practicality. Because of that, 5G towers have to be spaced by 3 to 6 kilometers apart. Obviously, in Botswana, we don't have towers in such distances apart. Here is a simple example. If you were to walk around your neighborhood, your phone is guaranteed to switch from 4G to 3G or even 2G. And this is because of lack of infrastructure. The further you are from a 4G transmitter, your phone will automatically switch to 3G or 2G because they have larger wavelength but slower speed. That is why I'm convinced that we need to have more infrastructure before we can start talking about 5G. In the absence of infrastructure, I believe Orange's whole idea of 5G connectivity is a facade and will remain as such until we see credible infrastructure development. Thank you for the continuous support. Please do continue to subscribe, like, comment and share my videos. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Hey, tada!